Pebble's gonna be running on this wheel the whole entire video and it's really loud, so I think I'm gonna have to move that before I get started. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I wanted to tell you what I think are the top 10 essential items for mice. So I often get asked by you guys what you can do to make your mouse's cage more interesting. So I thought I'd compile a list of 10 items I think you should add to your mouse's cage to make it an enriching and busy cage. But before I tell you about some of the items you may want to get for your mice, I wanted to tell you about some items that you may be interested in getting for yourself. So today's video is actually kindly sponsored by a brand called Ana Luisa. They are a jewelry brand based in New York and they offer high quality luxury items for a reasonable price. The way that their production works actually allows them to handcraft each individual item. Most of their pieces are 14 karat gold and they were actually designed by artists that previously worked for big name brands such as Gucci or Louis Vuitton. So whether you're looking for something for yourself or a gift for your mum as Mother's Day is coming up, I definitely check out some of the items they have on their website. All of their pieces also do come with a one year warranty. So they were actually kind enough to send me a few pieces of jewellery to try and to show to you guys which I'm wearing right now. I do really love wearing jewellery when I get the chance. Having the rats and the mice running around and climbing all over me though, there is a little bit of a risk that they will want to steal this off me so when I do get the chance I do actually really love wearing jewellery like this. So I did just want to quickly show you some of the jewellery they sent me. The first one is this flower coin necklace that I'm wearing right now. This one I'm really excited to wear, it's a really modern piece and I really like how the flower shaped pendant can brighten up your outfit so I'm really really happy with this one. The next one that I picked out is a Margot necklace and I really like this one, I think it's really different. It has a textured coin pendant on it which I think looks very different to any other necklace I've seen so I'm really happy with this one as well. The last one I have to show you is a small ball chain necklace. This is a little bit more subtle than the other two but I think this could really work with most outfits and I really like how small and detailed it is. So Anna Luisa have also given me a discount code to share with you guys. If you use the code EMIOLOGY10, then you can get $10 off your entire purchase. So moving on, I want to share with you what I think are the top 10 items when owning mice. So number one is probably a bit of an obvious one, and that is wheels. So there are some mice that will just point blank refuse to use any wheels, but most mice will really enjoy running on these, and given an appropriate sized wheel, is a really good way to give your mice a good source of exercise. So we do have a whole entire video talking about wheels, with racks and also with mice, which I'll leave linked in the iCards. But ones like this are a really good size. You want to aim for one that's about 6.5 inches at the least. The ones that are about eight inches, like this one, are a really good size. Flying saucer type wheels like this one are also a really good option. You just want to make sure the wheel you're using is safe. So I would avoid using any wire or mesh wheels at all. So the second item I think is really good to have in your mice's cage are tunnels. Now mice love burrowing, if you give them a good few inches of bedding in their cage and they will make their own tunnels. But providing tunnels like this is also a really good option. Whether you're burying it in the bedding itself or just leaving it on top, it gives them a good place to hide and also allows them to exhibit their natural burrowing behaviour. So, so anything from this wicker tunnel to also this piece of pipe that I've been using, or you can also just use basic toilet roll tubes. They don't cost anything and usually just get thrown away. These are just a really good option for putting in your mouse's cage. You can also get bendy tubes which are really good. You can hang these in the cage or you can also just bury them beneath the bedding. So there are lots of tunnel options out there so I think adding a few to your mouse's cage makes it really really fun. The next thing I think is really good to add into your mouse's cage are wooden bridges. I think it's really important to utilise all of the space you're giving your mouse in the cage. So not only on the floor of the cage but also on the top of the cage whether you have a barred cage or you have them in a bin cage. You can always hang things like this, which are really good for utilising all of that top space in the cage. So not only are bridges like these really good for encouraging your mice to climb, but they are also made out of wood so it's really good for them to chew on as well. So if you have ones like these hanging on top of the cage, you can also have bendy bridges like this at the bottom which they can climb on, but they also act as a place for them to hide as well. Speaking of hiding, it's really important to give your mice somewhere safe and secure to hide and sleep. So you're going to want to provide them with a few houses and hides throughout the cage that they can pick to sleep in and hide in when they don't feel safe. So I would offer a few of these depending on how big your cage is, just so they can choose which ones they feel more secure in and which ones they want to make into their nest. 
So you can get store-bought ones like this, which are really good. You can also find ones just out and about in random shops. So I have this one, which is actually a candle holder, and this also works really well as well. Pearl? Pearl's like on my fake plant right now. You're crazy. You're crazy. So most of the hides and houses I just mentioned are ones you put on the ground, but some mice do really enjoy sleeping up high, and to help them with this, you can give them a Sputnik. Now these come in a variety of colours, you can get them in the US and also in the UK, for relatively cheap, and these I'd say are a staple when owning rats or mice. They're really cool, you can hang them from the top of the cage like this, or you can also turn them this way and have them on the base of the cage, but whether your mice sleep in these or not, I think these are really good to have in the cage just to give them something extra to explore at the top of the cage. Now the next thing to offer to your mice are hammocks. Now you may not think to give these to your mice, but some mice will really appreciate them, especially in the colder months. So you can just offer them tiny hammocks like these, which you can get made, or you can also buy hammocks like this, which my girls are in. Right now, they really like these ones, they love sleeping in this, especially in winter because it keeps them really warm, and because it just does have this one opening at the front, they feel really secure in this, so these are definitely a staple for me. Even though I said it has one opening at the front, they've made their own opening in the back, so they will probably wreck them, but they're really, really cheap, so you can just replace them quite easily. Another great thing you can add into your mice's cage are ropes. These are another great thing that encourage your mice to climb and really utilises the top part of the mouse's cage. You can go out and buy ropes that are aimed at parrots or small pets, but these tend to be very, very overpriced, so I would suggest either getting dog ropes or you can get horse lead ropes from eBay and things like that. They tend to be a bit more cheaper than the ones that are aimed at small pets, or you can make your own. So I have made my own ropes. These are made out of strips of fleece and I've just braided them together and then I zip tie either end onto the mesh or the bars of the cage and these work really well and you can just pick the colour of them which I think is really great so these are a really cheap alternative to going out and buying ropes, make your own. Another thing I think is great to add into your mouse's cage just to make the bottom of the cage a bit more busy are climbing frame toys like this. This seems to be a really popular one and it just gives your mice a lot more opportunity to climb so I think this is a really good thing to add into any mouse's cage. So one of the last few things I think are really good to add into your mouse's cage I just threw on the floor. So one of the last things I think is really good to add into your mouse's cage are chew toys. Now anything wooden you add into the cage will act as a chew toy anyway but it doesn't hurt to provide them with some specifically like this. Now you can get ones like this that you place at the bottom of the cage you can also get hanging ones like this. This did used to be a hanging one, but they chewed all the rope off of it, so once you hang in the cage and they're a bit more difficult for them to get to, it's a really fun thing to do for them. So number 10 on my list of essential things to provide your mice with is probably the most important one when it comes to enrichment, and that is foraging toys. Mice are highly intelligent, so it's really important to make things a challenge for them. This provides them with enrichment, and the best way to do this is to do it with their food. Now you can just make your own foraging toys, there's plenty of good DIYs out there on how to do this, or you can go out and buy one. Now as far as I'm aware, I don't think there's any specifically targeted at mice. If you know of any, please leave them down in the comments because I'm really interested to see them. But I just use ones that are aimed at parrots or cats. Now I have this one which is in the shape of a mouse, and this is aimed at cats, but I use it for my mice and I put their main food in here. The holes on it are small enough that they won't get their heads stuck. I really like using this to give them a little bit of an extra challenge when it comes to food time just to make it a bit more interesting and to get them to use their brains to try and get the food out. So those are my top 10 items for putting into your mouse's cage. Now obviously this isn't a full list of everything you'll need for mice. There are a few things that I've left off such as water bottles and bedding, things like that, that are essential when it comes to owning them. But hopefully if you are stuck on things to put in your mouse's cage, this is giving you a little bit more of an idea of things you can add to their cage to make it more interesting. But that is it for today's video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to check out Anna Luisa which is linked down in my description and use my discount code EMBRIOLOGY10 if you see anything you love. And of course don't forget to subscribe to see any future animal related videos from us and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!